Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a brand new movie review for you. Today we're going to be talking about Creed 3, but before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video so we can keep growing out towards 250 subscribers. Now, let's talk about Creed 3. This is, of course, obviously the third entry in the Creed franchise. It started off as a Rocky spin-off, and of course the first two films starred Sylvester Stallone and felt very much like they were you know, still kind of sort of Rocky movies, but this one stands out on his own. It's the first Rocky universe film that doesn't feature Sylvester Stallone. He's not in the film at all. Of course, it stars Michael B. Jordan, Tessa Thompson, coming from the, uh, you know, the first two films. They play, uh, obviously, Adonis and Bianca. Joining them for this go-around is Jonathan Majors, who is on a hell of a role right now. He just did Ant-Man. He was fantastic as Kang, got a big future with the MCU. Now he's doing this. He's got Dennis Rodman biopic and, uh, a, I think, a boxing, or not boxing, a bodybuilding movie coming out later this year. So, that man is busy. I think he's going to be like the next superstar actor, and he definitely deserves it because him and Michael B. Jordan were fantastic in this film. Tessa Thompson's great as well, but the film like really shines when it's focusing in on these two. And of course, if you've seen the trailer, you know this one, that these two uh, grew up together. They were friends when they were younger, and then some shit went down. Jonathan Majors got put in jail while, while Adonis you know, rose to fame and become the world heavyweight champion of boxing. And then, you know, Jonathan Majors gets out and he wants that belt. He wants it. He he was better than uh, Adonis when they were kids and he thinks he still is and things go from there. We do get to see some characters returning like uh, uh, young Drago, Drago's kid from Creed 2. He shows up a few times throughout this film as kind of an ally, which is very interesting. I wonder if they're trying to set up a Drago thing because we heard rumors about that a while ago. And just this film, the performances from those two are incredible for Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors. I think Michael B. Jordan's directing in this is fantastic. It's his directorial debut. Crushed it. You can tell he definitely looks up to Ryan Coogler as like a director because man oh man his directing is cool. The fights in this film are fantastic. The Creed fights have always been great but the last fight in this movie was awesome. I kept seeing online that people were saying like oh they, they're they like anime fights and I was like eh, how's that gonna work but the, the last fight is definitely an anime fight. You could, the, There was one part of it I don't want to say what happens but it definitely felt like a big like final arc anime fight and it was just so cool to see uh you know young adonis has a big naruto poster so michael b jordan definitely put his anime love throughout this film i will say uh, as i said rocky's not in this film they do mention him once or twice but he's not in the film himself there are two parts of the movie i'm not going to spoil anything but there are two parts where i think rocky would have been there but there's all sorts of behind the scenes drama going on with that but in a perfect world, Rocky would have been there, and I hope if they do a Creed 4, which I am hoping that they do, uh, they get Stallone back, at least for a small part. Like, he doesn't have to be a main focus like he was in the first two films, but at least, you know, a scene maybe even Creed just calls him up on the phone or something, but definitely get Stallone involved. But I love this movie. I've This is the 12th film I've seen that's released this year, and it's the first one that I truly love. I love this movie. And there are some things, like... Um, you know how Rocky works, how, like, he loses in the, like, a month later he's got a rematch. There's stuff like that that happens that, like, in the real world, the rankings of boxing and UFC don't exactly work like that, but it's not that big of a deal. It's a movie. You just gotta suspend your disbelief for that kind of stuff, and I just, I love this movie. The performances were great. The directing was great. I thought the writing was great. It was the perfect runtime. Like, a lot of movies lately have been a little too long, in my opinion, and this one just hit the perfect sweet spot, and this... I don't know. I love that first Creed movie, man, but I definitely think this one's better than Creed 2. I'm going to have to rewatch it if I think it's better than Creed, but I'm going to say something like that's sacrilegious. The first Rocky is one of the best films of all time, and a lot of the other ones are great as well. But if, like, Creed can do, like, a Creed 4 and maybe a Creed 5 and keep up this level of quality, I think the Creed franchise could end up stronger quality-wise than the Rocky franchise. I love this movie. Thought everything about it was great. Uh, I think Creed 3 deserves... A 9 out of 10 for me. It's my favorite film so far of the year. It might be topped here this next week with Scream. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, Creed 3 gets a 9 out of 10. Make sure you comment down below with what your thoughts are on the film. Did you like Michael B. Jordan's directing style? What did you think of Jonathan Beefcake Majors in this movie? Let's chat down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys right here next time.